few things we've had since our first board meeting. We have put an infrastructure plan into place. We have awarded the bid to lead belt materials. The board is in the final steps on putting in together in addition to, to, to finish, to finish the roads that we're going to do. We, uh, we're going to start that. looks like the last part of first part of last part of April, first part of May. We've also nominated the committee chairs this year. The committees will be the same. Tracy will be over the events committee. Melissa will be over the technology committee. Michelle Brown will be over the playground committee. And we've added a new committee this year, a mobile home park committee. It, uh, Sarah Barnett is going to be the chair of the mobile home park committee. She's very motivated to, you know, clean the place up over there, do some new things, you know, new projects and such over there. Maybe if lighting situations, uh, speed bumps we've talked about, you know, so several other things, but I'm very excited to, you know, for her to be, take this and responsibility to do this. This is a area that I see a lot of potential there. And I think it's been neglected for years and we hopefully can give it a facelift this year over there. And a couple other things I'd like to do this year. I'd like to do on as far as sprucing the place up, I would like to do finish the roundabout project come springtime that we started landscaping last year. And I would like to do a little, give it a little facelift in front of Remax and Miller's there. There's a bare spot there where we put the walking path. I'd like to do a little landscaping there and down by the solar light. Those are just things that I have on you know my agenda this year. Also, we've put into, put into place this year, I'm going to put what I'm going to call an ISO task force. I really want to get this ISO problem addressed and see what we can do to get to get better there. And what I'm going to do, Deb Thacker is going to head that. We have not put together the list of people that's going to be on the committee yet, but any volunteers that would like to participate, I'm sure, you know, we'd be like, happy to have you. The Public Works Department, we're looking to possibly purchase a larger single axle dump truck. I see a lot of material handling issues out here where the guys are hauling three or four yards at a time where they, you know, if they was able to haul eight and 10 yards of material at a time, this would be a lot better time management on their part. And they could, they could really use this and get a lot more done. They do an excellent job. They just, I think they've kind of outgrown the trucks that they have. We need those trucks, but I think they need a, a larger truck as well. Also code enforcement this year, we're going to do, you know, we've hired a code enforcement officer. A lot of violations have been written and, you know, we're going to keep on that process. He's done an excellent job. And that's one thing that I think this board's adamant on is keeping the place up on our property values are number one, first and foremost priority. And that's, that comes with keeping the place up. So therefore, you know, I think the code enforcement's a, a very important part. And this year, beach patrol, we're going to do a better job there. We have that in the budget this year for beach, beach security, beach guards, what, what you want to call them. But it's, uh, we are going to have do a better job this year. We had a lot of complaints last year. I ended up doing a lot of it myself, writing violations. And I seen there was a problem. We're going to, we're going to correct that this year. And the website is still in transition, but it's the address is all over social media. It's, it is up and running. It's, it's going to be an excellent product. I encourage everybody to get on there and, and look at that. That's about all I have. Thank you.